From blankets to cases, there's no shortage of products that claim to block up to 100% of electromagnetic radiation, or RF, from your devices. Sound too good to be true? Most experts say it probably is. The material could do 100% in the right situation. Electrical engineer and EMF specialist Michael Newart notes these product claims often refer to shielding technology, not the products themselves. In many cases, the FCC-certified labs they cite use a controlled signal generator and test raw materials. They don't test the actual product using a real phone. There's all kinds of things that can happen in real-life situations. So, we wanted to find out just how much RF these popular products might actually block in the real world. First up, RF blocking cell phone cases. The cover has to be closed on the side towards you. Three of the cases we tested are intended to be used with the shielded front cover closed over the face of the phone, even while on a call. I would know that because I know how these fields work, but I think other people might miss that point. The fourth case, the Pong, claims to redirect cell phone radiation away from the user. Our real-world tests did find all the cases substantially reduced RF emissions from the face of the phone. Almost a 90% reduction. In fact, the flip cases reduced RF by up to 90% when used properly with the case closed. Wow. However, depending on the phone network and position of the cases, some actually increased RF, doubling the radiation when used like this, with the shielded front flap open, folded behind the phone, like many people use flip cases in the real world. These frequencies usually get reflected like a mirror, so you're seeing what used to go out the back of it getting reflected to you. Both the FCC and FTC warn shielding products may actually increase your exposure to RF by interfering with the signal. However, the manufacturers tell us they generally don't test the cases in different positions. Now, Pong tells us handheld RF meters, like these, are not suitable for quantifying the effect of its case, while Safe Sleep says testing outside of a lab with ambient and uncontrolled RF may result in unreliable readings. And in fact, outside of a lab, we did find the same case performed differently on different cell phone networks, likely due to our proximity to the nearest cell tower in a different location, or even facing a different direction. The results may have been different. We also tested a series of products intended to be worn on your body. By the sound, you already can tell there's quite a difference. Our tests found, from the belly armor blanket, nursing cover, and boxers, to this RF blocking tank top purchased on Amazon, all of the garment shielding products we tested blocked about 80 to 95% of cell phone RF when used as directed covering your body, your baby, or in this case, the test meter. The problem with garments is you're not covering your whole body. Bottom line, Newart says shielding is tricky. Well, in most cases, the shields, when used the correct way, will reduce your exposure. But under the right circumstances, they can actually make things worse. The best way to reduce RF is to increase distance and decrease your use. Text instead of talk, opt for speaker over wired headsets, but wired over Bluetooth, and keep your phone in airplane mode as often as you can. Julie Watts, KPIX 5.